Hello, Katya here and uh, this time a video for Finna Bear. And here I have a canvas is uh, 30 by 30 centimeters, 12 by 12 inches. And I have a stencil ghostwriter and this will be like a symbolic text for something that I would leave behind for this year, 21. And for adding texture to the canvas, I will use some modeling paste from Finnabear. And the text is like symbolic, something that I add for the past year, because this canvas will be like a goal or new beginning for the next year. Uh, the years 21 haven't been my year, my year. so the year, next year will be my, my year. Okay, I'm having some things. I have some uh, lace and ribbons and something texture and we, I will add some texture to my canvas. I will still leave like white spaces uh, to make it more uh, harmonic, but I'm cutting pieces that I will glue. I would glue everything with Finabar's 3D gloss gel, and even if it's a gloss and 3D uh, effect, it will work perfectly to glue everything uh, because I, I'm sure I want to stick it well. That's why I'm adding the 3D gel. So I start with this, I don't know the word for it. It's almost like Punchinella uh, that was very popular on the 90s or I don't know when it was popular. I wasn't a crafty person in that, at that period, but something I found uh, and it's a plastic. So take care if you use the heat gun when you add like plastic items. So I'm trying to make uh, a canvas where I adding like these things around my focal point. My focal point will be in the middle and a photo and a frame of me. But you see me, I'm trying to work like something in the balance. In the middle, I will have the vintage frame uh, making from a mold from Finnabear. I have ordinary regular copy paper, uh, something from the copy machine that wasn't good. Uh, you can use card uh, stock or cardboard or something to add even more dimensional. But I really enjoy when you have tear the paper and you crinkle it a little bit and you see it gets really wet because I'm still using the 3D gloss gel. but that will be dried up and it will work perfectly. And I'm adding these layers uh, on top of it, uh, each other and crinkle everything. And yeah, the frame in the middle and I still have something from the uh, tablecloth, something uh, I'm cutting pieces and uh, I will paint everything. So I'm not worried about the color. I have some words and good times and adventure and things like that. And that is also like good words for next year, for the year 2022. Uh, it must be a better year for me. And uh, I believe I still will do some changes during the next year uh, or the year 2022. Uh, so this will be like a reminder on my wall at home to remind me for getting, doing the change that I need to do to find more balance. Here I have the toothpicks and they are making a little bit interest and making horizontal and diagonal balance to my project. Now I will have like Finnabar heavy body gel and I will glue uh, more items with a heavy body gel on my canvas. So I'm gluing the frame and I love uh, 
always the gels because you can move around because they don't get sticky right away. I have like different metallic items like leftovers from different packagings uh, and I try to find balance uh, to my frame also to make it a little bit more dimensional. So I'm gluing them uh, around the frame and also I have these wings with a heart on the top of the frame. Uh, I will not glue the small frame from Prima, not yet. I will do it in the end because I'm afraid I will destroy the photo. Now it's time for the white heavy gesso uh, to, because uh, I will paint everything white. Uh, so I'm making like two coats. Uh, I think. And be sure to give the video a thumbs up and please leave a comment. It helps the video to, to move. Share it with your friends. Now I have my color combination. It goes in brown, some beige and gold, a little bit black. I'm using metallic paint and liquid acrylic paint. I start and I'm almost always doing that. I'm starting with the lightest color. And here I have the metallic frame, no, the metallic paint, so sorry, uh, the soft satin. It's a beige, pearly color. It's so, so beautiful. And to make it more soft, I'm adding a water. You can spray water during, before, and also in the end to make the paint uh, move around. And if you have adding the gesso, that will be perfectly, it works great. So you see me moving around and might make like a composition all around. And where, while that is during drying, I will paint with the metallic paint, the color hazelnut. It's a dark, dark brownish color. And it's so, so beautiful. And I will add it on the frame, the smaller frame, and also on the wings, but the wings I'm spraying a little bit water on. The mold, vintage frame, the big frame, I also do it dark brown. And adding some places a little bit water, not too much because I really want the frame to be brown. Now is I want to make a different shade uh, uh, and I'm using the liquid acrylic paint and uh, it's you see it's a little bit more reddish than the hazelnut and that to make a little bit more contrast and the liquid acrylic paint moves so easy uh, and when you have like uh, you can put directly from a bottle and you see I'm not spraying a lot of water. Before I'm adding the next color, that is will be black, I'm also always drying the colors between the layers uh, and black is to get more intense and to lift up the, the frame to get more shadowing. It's not so dimensional the project, but when you're adding more colors and different shades, and uh, it helps. I'm happy with the effect. It looks already amazing, but I need a little bit contrast and more shiny. So I'm using the liquid acrylic, uh, no, the metallic paint sparks. So sorry. Uh, and I'm doing like an easy light-handed dry brushing the frame, not everywhere and on different items. Not too much, but it gives like the extra shine effect. When everything is dry, all the layers, I'm adding the white heavy gesso again, and I'm starting on the edges because I go really right around that. And on other parts, I'm doing the dry brushing. And wow, it's turned out amazing. And all the layers really show up when you're doing the dry brushing. Now I will add the soft matte gel because I will add like extra touches to my project. And you see, I haven't glued my, in this stage, the frame yet, but it start to go there. So 
now it's the time to do the frame and the photo. Of course, if you have like own copy machine, you can have more photos. But I always destroy the photos, so take care. Yeah, and now uh, I'm uh, adding a little bit uh, uh, fabric. It's like a metallic fabric uh, to my project. I realize I want to have even more. And it's so delicate, so it almost just doesn't show. But it gives the extra dimension and uh, interest. And now I'm sprinkling carefully um, some microbeads on some place and, and also some glitter. Of course, we need to have some glitter on the project and leave the glitter dry over the night. It helps uh, and you can dry brush over. Fina Bear have some metallic stars, uh, some in different sizes. I believe they are in three sizes. I glue them here and there. You who follow me always know that I want to add something that are not painted, something that is natural uh, to give the extra touches, to give the extra interest. And these stars, it will be perfect because that year 2022 is to reach the stars and to find happiness and to, uh, yeah, have a much better world. So you see me on the photo looking at the stars and wishing me my best and setting up my own goals for 2022. And you can do the same. Get inspired and do a canvas or a project where you set up the goals that you can remind you during the whole year what is your projects, what is your goals, what is your ambition or what do you want to leave behind. Okay, anyway, <laughs> it's time for some wax. And of course, my favorite is the white pearl. It's a lot of white on my canvas, so of course we need to have some white here and there to make the heart pop out and details on the frame and some details. Not too much, but to give like extra highlight uh, because I have left out a lot of white on my canvas. I'm really, really happy of the project. Now I even sprinkle some beads and glitter on the on my photo. So it get like uh, in the project on a different time. So thank you a lot for stopping by. I'm really happy. And uh, yes, I love all the details. Hope you get inspired and please give me a comment and let me know what you think. Thank you so much and have a beautiful year 2022, all of you. Bye bye and see you soon again. Kisses and love.